So, small preamble before the video actually starts. Uh, I literally just, just filmed the video and was about to get ready to, to up the, up the, uh, upload, edit and all that. And I realized that I made a mistake and I referred to my mask as goggles, which is not it's not the case it's 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 a mask it's a proper scuba mask i refer to it as goggles i really wasn't thinking at the time i did recently purchase goggles for my nephew to use for his um pool swimming glasses uh but my my brain clearly left me for a moment there but you know just thought i'd add that in now and apologize yes i know it's called a mask and not goggles and if you see this video and you find me in public Technically, I think I owe you a bear for making that mistake. Um, hopefully, too many if you don't find me. Hey, Larry here again. So, uh, when I was doing the Paddy Open Water Diver Certification, um, I got my, my goggles. I purchased a wetsuit. I also got, um, let's see, what else I got? I got a snorkel, uh, a nice travel snorkel, and a few other little items. So... I knew that there were other items I would want to purchase. I just didn't get around to it yet. Uh, some of them would be a little bit delayed due to the global situation with COVID. But I did manage to pick up a couple that I'm going to unbox now. Well, I'm saying unbox, but it didn't come in a box. It came in an envelope. But um, yeah, let's start filming that. All right, so here we have the bag. Just... Uh, See. All right. Ooh, nice. Get the bag out of the way. And here we have my Cressy Ultra Stretch gloves. All right. Let's and let's see what else this is. The Cressy Palmer 3mm dive sock. Okay. Let's let's take a look at these. Nice close look. Ooh. Well, proper exposure protection is very important when going into the water. Especially when, you know, we have a lot of lionfish in our waters. And it's easy to get small cuts and little abrasions if it is you get too close to the reefs and so on. And you're not supposed to touch them. But it, sometimes it could happen, you know, unintentionally. So let's see how these gloves fit. Oh, yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I like this. I like this. Let's see. And these, they weren't very expensive. I can't remember the price off the top of my head, but I got them on Amazon. Ooh, yes. Uh, I bought these on Amazon, uh, but for all my Aqualung gear, I buy those straight from my local dive center, Dive TNT. Ooh, I like. That's a nice, grippy feel. What I'll need to do though, is test these with uh, the different type of gear that I'll be using in the water to ensure that it works properly and I can interact with everything, unhook, uh, bolt snaps, uh, check you be able to use my gauge properly, uh, press any purge valve on the regulator. Also things like um, if I had to use a knife or even a camera, you know, make sure I can use it properly with these gloves on and that would really determine if it's, you know, the right, the right gloves to use. Well, that would be one of the determining factors in addition to proper exposure protection. Now these are 2.5 millimeters, so it's not bad. It should be perfect for tropical waters. Now let's see this. Ah. A little windy right now. Cressy Palmer LT3MM. Oh, these are nice. So the boots, the, well not boots, sorry. The fins that I got for myself, uh, I, I, I'm looking at the Aqualung Storm Fin, which is designed to be worn. It's an open, open heel fin, but it's designed to be worn, you know, uh, without booties. However, I still think it would be a good idea to use something that gives some protection from any chafing and so on. Uh, because the way the fins are designed, if it is you use it for an extended period and how rigid it is, 
I could end up with some chafing on, on this part of the foot. Uh, I think this is the, the, is that the instep? Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, so these these socks feel good. I'm gonna uh, gonna have to try them on and then let you know what I think about them. Uh, but ideally, this should offer the right amount of protection. And of course, I'll test everything out properly when I get the rest of my gear because I've already ordered my, my regulator. I've also ordered, um, that's the first and the second stage, also my octo, my gauges, and of course, my uh, my fins. So I have all those things coming in, and of course, an, an yes, uh, low pressure inflator hose. So all those things will be in hand soon enough. But until then, this is the gear that I just bought. I have some that I had from before, which I would have mentioned earlier. That's the wetsuit, the goggles, the, the the snorkel, a weight belt, uh, things like that. So, you know, in time, I'll be able to do a, a nice little video outlining all the gear that I currently have. And I'll probably even make some suggestions for other new divers like myself in terms of what gear you should buy first. Because very often, I think um, sometimes people may get the wrong gear at the wrong time. And it's, you know, it's really a, a question of not having the, the right advice. Uh, thankfully, I would have been advised by, by my instructor. And the gear that I bought so far, just for the record, is not the gear that I initially planned on getting. Uh, things with COVID threw off my plans. Ideally, I would have liked to have my dive computer from now so I could get accustomed to everything about it. But um, unfortunately, you know, my plans got thrown off. So, you know, but, but sooner, sooner rather than later, I will be purchasing my dive computer and my PCD. And, you know, I'll be doing some follow-up videos on all those things. So take it easy, keep good. And if ever you all want to talk a little bit about scuba diving, it's something that I'm really interested in now. Uh, feel free to drop me a line. Take it easy. Bye.